Yo, what's going on everyone? It's your boy D-Lord and welcome back to another episode of our Pittsburgh Steelers Madden 22 Connected Franchise Series. Now we are here for week 10, so we're finally on that back stretch of the new 18 week regular season, man. So two, two and six teams this week, the Detroit Lions against us. Now we have the higher overall. Like I said at the end of the last video, I think this may be the first game. You guys let me know if I'm wrong. This may be the first game where we actually have a higher overall than the team we are playing. So we're going to expect to try to go out there and actually win this game. So let's quickly take a look at the depth chart for the Lions, see what they're rocking with right now, man, and then we'll kind of make our game plan and strategy from there. So Jared Goff is going to be the quarterback. They better hope he stays healthy because if anything happens to Goff, I mean, they... They are pretty much out of luck, man. Jamal Williams will be the starting running back over DeAndre Swift. And that's interesting because typically in Madden, you would think they would just go with a higher overall player. But Jamal Williams is 77 right now. Swift's a 79. They're still rolling with Jamal Williams. I do know morale did drop the overall, so maybe his overall is actually higher when it comes to the base overalls. Now, Tyra Williams will be the starting wide receiver. You have Brashard Perriman. Not, I mean, they have some speed, I guess, but nothing crazy. I feel like our secondary should be able to handle it. Now, Hawkinson, very, very good. Offensive line, uh, they have a, actually, besides right guard, because Panay Sewell is a beast, bro. So, they actually have a pretty solid offensive line. Um, defensive line, right end could definitely use some help. I mean, they don't have a strong defensive line. Linebacker core doesn't look that great corners don't look that great at all man so even the secondary so that is the weakness here man so we do get our guy back so finally finally Najee Harris is back with us man he played what two and a half games before going down with the injury man so we do get him back which should be a pretty big win for us um they want us to defend the deep passes they throw the ball 57 percent of the time wow so you see power, inside zone, but then you see stick, curl. I feel like curl may be considered a medium route combination. Um, we know stick is definitely a short. All right, so we're going to go ahead and just try to defend the medium pass, and then we'll make our adjustments. Like I said before, fatigue is still 100%, bro, so I don't think there's going to be any changes. <laughs> to what we're doing with that man zone covers the majority of the time that's fine we want to run the ball inside though uh we do want to make a change so we're going to go backups for the um abilities or not for the abilities for the reps uh, just try to get haskins in there hopefully he can kind of prove we're going to go back to starters so Najee harris can get the majority of the reps man so get five sacks that's not going to happen but we can we can potentially throw two touchdowns yeah, we could throw two touchdown passes for sure. Um, so we're going to go ahead and go with that for the weekly game plan. And then we will take back off. We'll take back off Chase Claypool. And we will put Najee Harris back in the development spot for the focus players. All right, let's go ahead and start training, man. See what happens. Hopefully, nobody gets hurt. We've had a couple of decent weeks. Let's hope that stays. So Haskins got tired, but that's fine, bro. Najee Harris fatigue. That's fine. I mean, you see the XP he's racking up right there, man. And he gets the plus five carry and ball carry vision, stiff arm, trucking, and break tackle. So, I mean, we'll definitely take that. Couple of players getting tired, but as of now, no injuries. No injuries. There we go. I love to see it, man. Uh, anything on the defense end? No injuries on the defensive end. So, once again, we come through. We are fine. We are healthy. We have anybody we need to upgrade. We do have some players. Let's see who these guys are. Uh, so, Louder Milk, he gets an upgrade. So, we'll go ahead and use that right there, man. Moving him up to, what, 65 overall as a run stopper. And then Eric Ebron, who's had a couple of solid games for us, man. He gets one. We'll go vertical threat for him. Uh, really not trying to make him a scheme fit this late into his career, man. So, awareness, catching, juke move, medium route running run block so we get something there just to make him better at what he currently does man but other than that uh we have the coaching goals you see on the right win the turnover battle run for 150 yards sack the quarterback three times we'll see if we can get that done more importantly man we need to get a win bro we need to get a win and this is the best chance we have 
All right, guys, so here we go, man. First play from scrimmage. The Lions with the football first, man. They throw the ball. We'll throw the ball 56% of the time. Can we get pressure, somebody? There we go, man. We get a sack. First play. First play, man. Melvin Ingram, TJ Watt, they both get a half a sack. That's how you want to start things off. Second and 24 now. You know a pass is coming. There we go. Let's go, baby. Another cover sack. Down to the one-yard line. They're going to have to run the ball in third and 34, bro. Like, really know the option at the one. Here we go. Third, 34. I'm guessing a run's going to happen. It does. Let's go. We get the safety, baby. That's the lane coming through one touch. Two nothing. All right, man. Najee Harris back in the game. We're going with the RPO to start things off. We're going to hand it off here. Let's go. He gets to the outside. Najee is back, baby. Look at this stiff arm. <laughs> Yo, that's what we needed, bro. We needed a running back like Najee back. He's back, bro. If we could fix the offensive line, we'd be all right. All right, let's see if we get somebody on the comeback route. Ah. I thought I threw a pick or something, man. But Chase Claypool makes the catch. Let's go. Here we go. We have more running room. Najee again. He got hit sticked, but he picks up the first. So about to hand it off. Kalen Balaj in the game right now for us. There we go. There we go. Dang, I thought he was going to be able to squeeze through that somehow. I do not like that blitz there. Out of out of that. Let's go stick. See if Ebron can maybe come open. He's open. We got it to him. Touchdown, baby. Easy touchdown. Extending this lead. I was about to say 7 nothing, but 9-0. Right, we're going to cover three here. Make him throw it short. Yo. Why did he throw? It was all types of traffic there, but whatever, man. They got to punt the ball. Yeah, I think I like this stretch here. There we go. Get that block. Derek Watt doesn't get the block, but we're all good. Maybe, man. We almost got to the outside there. But four rushes, 49 yards in his first game back, bro. Maybe this was what was wrong the entire time is we didn't have an adequate running back. Before I get too excited, though, we do also have to remember that, uh, this is a team that we're actually better than. We haven't had one of those yet either. So, play action. Ebron's there. Nice, easy throw and catch. First down, get out of bounds. And there we go. He's there. Let's go. Way to make that catch. I thought maybe we overthrew him, but Juju comes through. Oh, we fumble it. There's the momentum we had, man. There's the momentum we had. All right, let's go, man. Let's play solid defense again. We've been playing pretty good defense all day. Right there. Dang. Tyrell Williams missed a great catch. Second and 10. Off the edge. Let's go, man. All right, let's get it, boys. Third and 11. We got pressure. We got the sack. They're clearly out of field goal range. So another run here. This time, Benny Snow. There we go. We got some blocks. There we go, Benny. First down, baby. Let's go. Hey, man. Getting yards. There we go. Second to five now. Oh, he's there. And did we get him? We got him, Deontay Johnson. I thought maybe we overthrew him. Let's go, man. We're... Making them fall asleep with the run game, then hit them over the top. He's there. Ebron, we hit him. Can he score? Can he score? Touchdown, baby. What a throw. What a run after the catch, man, for Eric Ebron, man. He has two today. We're looking good. All right, man. So, defense has been playing great. Let's see if we keep it up. He gets it outside. And we do a good job there. That's TJ Watt, baby. Go third and five. Using Melvin Ingram here, trying to get pressure off the edge. We're coming. Make him step up. Ah, uh, man, we made him step up. But they just got past the man covers over top. All right, so now they're basically in field goal range. We got to get something on defense. You see me bringing pressure off the edge. 
See if we can get to the quarterback here. Good night. An easy pitch and catch. We gotta do something here, man. They're starting to move the ball. They run it here. The time we don't bring pressure, but we do a solid job still. And they get it all back. Second and ten. Let's go. It's a fumble. TJ Watt picks it up. Get up, bro. Ah, oh, can't get up fast enough. Yo, our defense, bro, they are coming to play today. Here we go. Had some blocks. That's a second and two. Going play action here. Taking the shot deep. And let's go. We hit Chase Claypool. We hit Chase Claypool, baby. Man, this is the best game we've had all series. Let's see if we can keep it up. We're known for giving up leads. All right, man. It's two minute warning. Let's see if we get something here. Now that we're down to the 12, handing the ball off to Patterson. Nowhere. Juju, he went and got it. Couldn't get his feet in bounds, though. All right, let's see if we can hit Ebron in the end zone here. That's what we're looking. He might be there. He's not going to be there. I lied. Just throw it away. Nothing there, man. So, a strong start. But they settle for a field goal, which is fine. Which is fine. A game like this, man. Just take our three. Go up 19 to nothing. All right. You know they're throwing the ball here. Two minutes drill for the Lions. Let's go. We got pressure. Mmm. That was about to be a tough catch if we would have made that. We had a good zone blitz here. But you know the passing. They blitz. They picked up pretty well. And great catch. All right, cover one. Still pass committing. Mm, what a good play there. Way to cut back. I was not expecting that from the CPU, man. Tyrell Williams, bro. He's eating right now. Good tackle. Oh, Sewell's hurt. Yes, sir, man. That means TJ Watt about to eat, baby. Third and six. They go slip screen. Doesn't work. We're there. We'll call a timeout. Let's see if we can block this. Mm, we're not going to block it. He's going to hit it, man. So 19 to 3. We got 30 seconds left. We're not going to rush anything because we get the ball first in the third quarter. Bro, so we're starting the third quarter. Najee Harris was tired like all of last quarter. It felt like he's tired this quarter. I don't know if it's a glitch or maybe that fatigue coming into play for uh, Najee Harris. So it's definitely interesting, bro. I don't know what's going on there, but I don't, I don't like it. And he's going to get the carry now. Mm, not much there. It's going to be third and short, bro. And I'm guessing Najee's still going to be out. No, he's tired, bro. I don't, I do not know. If anybody knows why. <laughs> there we go. I guess he's somewhat blue there. We'll keep him out for this play, though. It was like that for probably like the last three, four minutes of the second quarter. That's why he didn't get a lot of carries. But, um. Hmm, maybe it's a glitch or something. Who knows? Pressure came. We got rid of it. He just missed, bro. Big Ben missed. What's new? All right. Let's go, man. First down. First play for them. Ah, solid run. They get five. His longest run of the day. Five carries, six yards. Recover three. Out of the 46 formation. Let's go, Minka, baby. Minka, baby. <laughs> and we are in there, baby. Touchdown. That's what we needed to get right back. Extending that lead. Man, best game we've played so far. All right, so we have a hard flat called. Third and two. Play action. Crosser's there. His stick doesn't drop it. 
No, oh, he's wide open. Another quick throw. So they're throwing these quick passes down the middle. You got to start adjusting. Try to get to the quarterback. You know they're throwing the ball here. They are. And they score, man. So we try to play it short and shallow. Didn't matter. All right, so third and eight. Throwing the ball here. Juju should be there. Yes, sir. He's there. He holds on to it. So second and 11 now. There we go. Hitting Juju again. Making the catch. We'll get out of bounds. Go get it. This man, Juju, bro. He went and got it, but didn't get his feet in bounds. Check it down. Here we go. Deontay. Going to be a way more manageable third down. Now he's a little bit tired, bro. Still. I think he's going to be tired the rest of the game, but we just need two yards here. There we go. There we go. Solid running. Solid blocking. Moving the chains. First 10. Let's block Najee. Oh, wow. What a catch by Chase, bro. Let's see if we get Chase in the end zone here. No, but we're going to hit Juju. Who's going to make the catch? He can't get in the end zone. Down to the three, though. First and goal. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, what a tackle, bro. Standing up. Najee Harris. That's a heck of a tackle. Can't even complain. All right, one last time, man. Third and goal this time. Trying to follow Derek. Doesn't work. We don't get in, bro. Matter of fact, bro, we're, we're running it back. Just trying it one more time, man. He's tired. It's fine. He's, he's been tired the whole time, bro. Benny, your turn, sir. Your turn, Benny. Get in there for us. Get in there for us. Get in there for us. Let's go. Touchdown. Man, I just wanted that extra separation, bro. We were at the one, so I figured why not. So you know they got to throw the ball in these last five minutes. See if we get pressure out here from the our D line. There we go. Right away we do, and we get the sack. Melvin Ingram and TJ Watt again, man. Going to team up for that one. So we just go cover four here. Just make sure we don't get beat deep. It's third and 20. There we go. Come up, make the tackle. I'm cool with that there, man. Cool with that. They might go four on fourth down. Yeah, they're going to go for it, but I'm cool with that. Let's go. Mm. Let's go regular cover three sky. Let's bring pressure with TJ Watt again. Oh, he just had to throw that up. Just knock that down and wow, bro. There's there's nothing we can do about that. Let's go. Great coverage. And we get the coverage set. Cam Hayward. Fourth down. They're probably going to go for it again. A solid cover four drop here. I don't know what to say, bro. Just throw it up to Tyrell Williams. Clearly. Clearly it works. Here we go. Two point conversion. I don't know which one to guard. We're going to just go after him. <laughs> here we go. Make him throw it away. All right, man. So we're trying to run up the clock here. There we go. Najee, bro. Nice solid run again. We'll probably... We'll probably let Benny... We'll probably, yeah, probably let Benny run out the rest of the clock, bro. We don't want him to get tired. Because uh, he's clearly already tired. Go with the stretch since they're blitzing weak side. There we go. Benny Snell has room to run down to the 20. They got to use their timeouts. All right, so we're just going to settle for this 46-yard field goal. We should be able to hit it, man. The meter was pretty solid right down the middle. So 36-17, they got under a minute left. We should win the game.
Oh, we will win the game. Just wasn't at the score again. Try to abuse this right tackle, man, with TJ Watt. There it is. Quickly. Roughing the passer, man. Wow. We got pressure. They drop it. Off his back foot. <laughs> Pass it to fear and try to stop Tyrell Williams, man. Nah, I missed. That was on me, man. They're about to score. We're blitzing everybody. Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't know how they don't score there. Third and inches, man. They're throwing the ball. Ah, he's there. Touchdown, Lions. That's going to end the game, bro. It didn't matter, but we were trying to not let them score, you know? All right, guys. So, in Najee Harris's return, man, we get the win. 36-24. 365 yards of offense to 257. We held them to just 10. Yes, 10 rushing yards. We have 126, 239 yards through the air, man. We did turn the ball over once, but we still won the turnover battle. So that is good because that was also one of our goals, man. Uh, let's see what else we had to talk about. Two penalties for 64 yards. Hey, ouch. Ouch. Did win the um, time of possession battle. Jerry Goff, 23 to 34, 308, three touchdowns, one interception. Big Ben, 12 of 20. 258, two touchdowns, zero interceptions in this one, man. Looking at the running game for the Lions, 7 for 10 for DeAndre Swift. Najee Harris, like I said, his game back, 15 carries, 90 yards. He probably would get even more carries if he wasn't so tired. But the main stat I want to talk about is the three broken tackles. That is huge, man. Benny Snow had eight, 436. Not bad neither, man. Kalen Belize got one carry, so did Kurt, um, Kadero Patterson. But it was really the Harris show, bro. Juju, four catches. 58 yards. Chase Claypool, 3 for 93. And then Eric Ebron, 3 catches, 64 yards, and 2 touchdowns. So he had himself a day. On the defensive side of things, Joe Hayden with 3 solo tackles. Total tackles. Actually, TJ Watt with 8 total tackles. 3 TFLs from Melvin Ingram. 3 TFLs from TJ Watt. Cam Hayward. I mean, our front 7 did their thing, bro. 2 at 2 sacks. Melvin Ingram, 2 sacks. TJ, 1 and a half and a half a sack from Cameron Hayward, then an interception, of course, came from Minka Fitzpatrick. All right, guys, so we get a huge win for us. We go to three and six. Our next game, which will be in the next episode, is actually against the Chargers, who are at 80 overall. So a little bit better than the Lions, but it's close. We are getting closer to these teams we are playing, man. But we're going to take a look at the standings really quickly, man, because um, we're not out of it, bro. It sounds crazy. We're not completely out of it. We're only three games back of the Ravens, and we play them, uh, I believe, twice, right? We're back of the Browns, but we already beat the Browns. So maybe if we could beat them again when we play them, maybe we have a chance. And when you look at the rest of the AFC, look at all these four losses and five lost teams. So, you know, they dropped two of them. We start winning out. I don't know, bro. Outside chance. Outside chance. I'm just saying. I don't want to be too optimistic. But, you know, we have a chance. We do definitely have a chance. Now, let's look at the stats for us really quick, man. You see some of the league leaders on the right side, passing leaders. Uh, Mahomes with 24 passing touchdowns already. Nick Chubb with 1,100 rushing yards already. Mike Evans with 800 receiving yards already. Uh, J.J. Watt, brother T.J. Watt, of course, 19 sacks already, which is kind of high. Kind of high when you think about it. We're, we're only in, what, week 11, and you have 19 sacks. Um, Isaiah Simmons with six interceptions. Put him in middle linebacker, dude, calls... Havoc, man. But let's look at our stats really quick, man, because our stats are pretty ugly. Um, ben Roethlisberger, 10 touchdowns, 17 interceptions. Pretty bad, bro. Pretty bad. Benny Snell has 342 yards rushing for us this season. Najee Harris, 329. So, way less carries, but almost the same amount of rushing yards. Kalen Balaz, 144 rushing yards this season. Cadell Patterson had 58 for our receivers. Juju, only 33 catches. Playing eight minute quarters, we're not going to rack up the same amount of catches, but you want yards to kind of be solid. Juju, 550 yards. I could see him potentially maybe hitting that thousand yards receiving mark on the season, man. Chase Claypool, 479. Eric Ebron, 452. But they're definitely racking up um, on the touchdowns. And on the defensive side of things for us, look at total tackles. Devin Bush with 41. Terrell Edmonds, 39. TFLs, though, 12 from Tuit. 
10 from Cam Hayward are sacks. We don't have anybody with 19, but TJ Watt was six and a half. I'll take that. To it with six. Melvin Ingram with five. Then our interception leader, Joe Hayden, with four interceptions on the year. Richard Sherman has three. And then a ton of guys with one, man. So I just wanted to show you guys quickly some of the actual stats that we have so far this season, man. But that's going to be everything for this episode as usual, man. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, please do me a favor. Go ahead and leave this video a like. It helps me out a lot. And subscribe if you haven't already. It's your boy D. Lloyd. I'm going to see y'all next time. Peace.